Welcome back everyone to the second mission here of our Isle 2 Stormovic Iron Man series here with the Soviet Union. Uh, I did some digging into the DGEN config and realized that I had the campaign length set to medium instead of the default very long, which would probably explain why we skipped over an entire month of the campaign after just one mission, uh, since the first mission was November 5th. And uh, now it's December 5th, quite a lot of time passed. Um, but uh, I think going forward, it should be fine now that I changed the settings in the config. Um, so let's take a look here at the mission. I think I saw this at the end of the last episode, but uh, I don't like this mission. This mission is hella dangerous. We're going to be going over a hundred kilometers behind enemy lines to do a ground attack mission with I-16s. Yeah. Flying at 300 meters, so we're going to be flying at the deck, essentially. Very low, very low. This is going to be scary. This is going to be rough, man. Like, I don't know what to say. Like, this could be, this could be pain. Serious pain. But we're not cowards. We will not walk away. We will embrace the pain. However painful that may be. But, uh, jeez. We're not going to have much room to work with if we get jumped by 109s. That's what I'm kind of worried about. And, oh boy. Yeah, this uh, goes back to the problem that was pointed out by... Glenn LeDrew in the comments of the last video. The, for some reason in this game, the latitude or longitude settings, one of the two, whichever one is the north to south. Um, but uh, there's something wrong with it in that the settings are like uh, not appropriate for the location of this map. And as a result, it is giving us like the the day night cycle of, of the day night cycle as if uh, we were at a higher latitude or something like that. Which means even though it said seven forty five in the morning on the briefing, it is like four in the morning kind of vibes right now. I think on top of that, he said something about how it's also the day night cycle is a month ahead of time. So this is supposed to, this is like a January night cycle or something. Very strange and specific only to this game, it seems. Also, navigation. Did not mean to do that. Okay, we're good. <laughs> Hold on, just just a moment. Okay, I think things are good. Having some minor technical difficulties. Also, I don't know why the searchlights are on. That would mean there's enemy aircraft near, which I am not a fan of. Okay, buddy. You're up. Okay. Yeah, this is gonna be an interesting flight here. It is dark. Even the map knows it's nighttime, jeez. But yeah, aside from being nights, uh, let me talk a little bit about the, what I learned about the plane here. I did some digging into a PDF that comes with IL-2, 
They actually give you an aircraft guide in a PDF uh, for this game. And according to that, the supercharger that we have is supposed to be engaged at 1500 meters or higher. Although I did test this, and I don't know if it has to do with mixture settings or something, but uh, engaging the supercharger at 1500 meters did not give me more power to the engine. If anything, it actually reduced power to the engine. And I have this feeling it has to do with the mixture settings, since the Russian aircraft at this time had manual mixture control. And uh, I am not too versed in how to mess with mixture in planes and stuff, so... I will probably have to do even more digging into that for the next episode. But, yep. Yeah. I also learned that essentially the service ceiling of this plane is 3,500 meters, so the altitude we were at in the last mission was pretty much as high as an I-16 is really recommended to go. Which makes sense to me. Open cockpit. I mean, not pressurized or anything. You're not going to be wanting to go too high in these things. But, uh... Yeah. We got a, a long flight ahead of us, so... I'll see you guys when something happens. Alright, we got problems here. Got at least two enemy aircraft here. Uh, I don't think, uh... I want to hold on to these rockets too much longer. What are these flaps? Okay. Alright, what kind of planes are we looking at here? It's gotten a little lighter outside, but still pretty dark. We're almost to the target as well. It doesn't seem like they've actually noticed us yet. I mean, understandable in this kind of weather right now. Like they're actually kind of just going away. Hmm. Interesting. Okay, supposedly the target is, uh... Right over here. I mean, I cannot see anything. But yeah, it looks like they did not actually notice us. Thankfully. Okay, buddy. Right, what is the autopilot going to make me do? Where are y'all going? Are we actually... Bro. We had a target. I mean, if you guys want to fight, I'm all for it. It's not like these uh, dinky little rockets we have would have actually taken out tanks anyway. At least in this game. So what is this? A 2v6? Yeah, I don't think this is going to go well for the Germans here. Okay, one of them's coming right at me. Oh, wow. One of them's already shredded. Okay. Jesus, this is easy money. Yeah, he's faster, obviously. Yeah, there are only two of them. Okay. I I can do that. 
the lower you get, the better it is for me. So, be my guest. It's probably the rockets that are weighing me down a bit, but I don't want to get rid of them just yet. Here we go. Come on. That's an F variant. Come on. I didn't get enough lead on that. Okay. Oh, I love this plane. This thing can maneuver like no one's business. Come on. Oh, we might get a good shot on this guy. Come on. Okay, I will say my gunnery in this plane versus the Hellcat is def markedly worse. This probably doesn't help. I can barely see this guy right now. Oh, I got hits. Oh, there we go. Smoking. Got his engine. I'm out of cannon rounds already? Jeez. Oh, wait. I was shooting my rock. Well... I was using the wrong key. Okay, let's not blow the engine out. Oh yeah, we're gonna get a close-up here. Almost there. There we go. Yeah, he's done. That looked like an F variant. It had the rounded nose, other than that kind of boxy looking nose that the E series has. But dang, I shot my rockets accidentally. Oops. Oh, well, I hope there's more than just tanks where we're going. Alright, now that that's over, let's get the autopilot back in gear. Alright, we're doing an attack run, but on... I can't see. Okay, they're shooting at something down there. Something blew up. I... I cannot see what's going on here. There's something there? Oh, whoa, okay. I bagged a tank. With my cannon rounds. These must be some dinky tanks. Okay, yeah, I see a couple still down there. I suppose the key is going top down on these things. I'm attacking the target, Bozo. Where'd it go? I see... Some dead stuff there. Where... I really am blind. Oh god. Wait, what? Aha, uh -huh, okay. I say it's just hard to see. What? I'm blind. All right, there is something down there. Let me also not crash into the boys here. I don't like how close we're getting. Yeah, let me not hit them. Jeez. Mm. I think we're good. Hey, we got a tank. We got a we got a plane and a tank. 
that's that's a good good outing. I'll take it. Looks like everything's okay. But yeah, we just bagged ourselves another 109. And we even added to the ground kill list with the tank. have no idea what tank we just blew up, but uh, it was something. Yeah. I think that, that does it for this mission, so I'll see you guys back at the landing strip. Alright, coming in for a landing here. Should be smooth. Let's get that uh, landing gear down. Uh, let's also go a little slower than this. Yeah. Alright, gear is down. Yeah, whoa, you're getting a little close there, buddy. I really hope I don't get hit by an AI coming to land. Oh my gosh, that was quite a bounce. Okay, good, good, good. Whoa, 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 whoa. Do not hit me, bro. Okay. Alright. I think we're good. Call that a mission successful. Alright, let's see what actually happened. See, so it went way deep enemy territory. Yeah, 109 F4. That that's a pretty competent aircraft we just shot down there. Ah yes, your skill in combat against the fascists has drawn the approval of the party. What a line. Good old Maxie's got his second kill of the campaign. It doesn't say what kind of tank we destroyed, but we got a we got a tank kill. We got a tank kill. It's looking good. All right, well, let's apply. Let's see what's going to be waiting for us next. Whoa, okay. December 20th, really? Maybe, uh, do I got to start a new... Hmm. Something just doesn't seem right. I'm going to have to do some more testing with this. But, uh, yeah, I may need to restart the campaign in order to get the settings right because yeah th this is too much time skipping but uh yeah if i do that i will i will just port over the stats and everything that we have but uh yeah thanks for joining me on this mission uh i'll see you guys in the next one